Hello, this is Lord Ugg and I am here to do a guide. It's not my two worlds to walk through today, although it is two worlds to related. See, when I was doing this game, there was a few things I had to search for, like how crystals work, how spells work, things like that. So I decided to do three guides. One will be for crystals, how they work, what attributes they have, and things like that. Uh, one for spells, spell casting, and how to how to create the spells, and a third guide for weapons and armor with how to mix crystals with them. Today will be just about crystals, and I will do the other two very soon. So let's get straight to business. I wanted to make this quite quick. I know you really want to find this stuff out, so let's get straight to it. Now I'm going to bring up. Oh, this is my character, by the way. We're in New Ashos. It's, it's mainly fire and uh, a little bit of water, I believe. Yes, I have two, two outfits, look. Fire and water. Anyway, let's get to the crystals. First of all, crystals come in three, four main colours, sorry. Which is yellow. Yellow are your attribute crystals. Red, which are your damage crystals, which is most upon weapons. You've got your blue, which are resistance crystals. They're most good for armor. And your green, which are skill crystals. Now, if we look quickly at your skills, the skill crystals are usually linked to these things here. The things you put skill points on. Well, like sneak, thievery, locksmith. You can have, you can have skills for any of these things. Skill crystals for any of them. So... Let's have a closer look. First of all, attribute. Now, attribute crystals are the ones affected, again, if I look at my skills, by these here. These are about four main attributes. You've got endurance, which of course adds on uh, hit points, which puts your health up. You've got your strength, which is good for your melee characters. You've got your accuracy, good for bowmen. And your willpower, good for majors like myself. And that's what yellow crystals mostly affect. Mostly. So here we have a strength plus one crystal. Endurance plus one. Accuracy plus one. And then we have willpower. So basically we cover them all with them. One, we've got all one of each here. But then if you look at this. This is an endurance plus two crystal. And we have an endurance plus one crystal. You cannot mix these two together even though they are both endurance you cannot mix these two together now you can only mix two of the same type i in in other words two strength plus two crystals two endurance plus two crystals you cannot mix two different crystals even though they may be the same color and have the same attribute you've got to have the same plus number as well so, for instance, if we look here, I've got a strength plus one crystal. In fact, I might do yeah, well, that. So, I've got a strength plus one crystal, but I have a strength plus two, but I cannot mix them together. Now, do you see the star and the number one? That shows, right there, right there that shows that it, that is on level one. That stone is a level one stone. And we can see that a strength plus two crystal is a level two. So that makes us know now that if we mix two of these together and take it to a plus two crystal, a level two crystal, it's forced to be, it's going to turn into a strength plus two. How do we mix them? Well, we right click and the word join comes up here. Click on that. It'll ask you, do you want to fuse two of these crystals together? Yes. The mix. And there you go. Now, if you look, I've only got one of these left. But now I've got two of these. I only had one. So now we've got two strength plus two crystals. Now I can fuse these together. Right click. Join. Do I want to mix these two together? Yes. And now I have a strength plus three. Oh, well, no, sorry. I have a level three strength. Let's there, look. Attribute crystal strength plus three. And it's a level three, but we only have one of them. So I here, for instance, I have two endurance plus fours. Well, actually, I have three endurance plus fours. 
and they are a level 4 crystal, attribute crystal. Let's right click and click on join and we mix them together. And as you can see each time the crystal changes form a little bit. As you can see this one has gone now to level 5 which means it's endurance has shot up to plus 6. Very nice. Endurance remember puts your HP up. You can get it quite high up to I think plus 10. I think I have one but I'll show you that later. So again recap we right click a crystal click on join and it will join them together they must be the same number and the same attribute so now it moves up it moves up a level which is the number next to the star see now we're on endurance plus two there do I have an, another yes I have an endurance plus three so when I put this up it will turn into one of them I want you to watch in that corner there you'll see that go up to two because I will have two of those when I mix these two together Wait for it, wait for it. There you go, they're there. Two endurance plus threes now. Mix those together. And we have an endurance plus four. And there you go. That is basically how you fuse crystals together. You can fuse any crystals that are the same no matter what, as long as they are. I mean, these are all different. So I can't fuse them. I mean, when I've got a spectral damage there 50 that's a spectral of 75 so they won't fuse together although i do have two resistance here resistance to fire right click join do you want to fuse them yes and they turn into there you go it's now a level six um crystal and it's 40 resistance against flame and so there you damage there your resistance and these are your skills which put your skills up these are the same they fuse just the same but they have different abilities when put onto armor and weapons which i will show you in the other guide i don't actually have two of any of these so i can't show you then you have these crystals which kind of are standalone crystals you've got the live crystals which change your carry load you can carry more items and you can, of course, fuse these together when you have the same ones. So if I have another maximum load by 10 crystal, I can mix them together. And it will become level 20, which one this, which is this one here. And then it goes to 30, this one here, and so on. And now the last thing that seems to confuse people are ceiling crystals. I cannot exactly tell you about these in this guide because I need to show you them on weapons and armor. So you'll have to look at that guide to find out about ceiling crystals. But you can fuse them together. For instance, I have two, oh no, these might be high as they can go. No, it'll go one more. So I have two which give additional attributes by 90% and seals equipment, I'll explain all that. Click on join, and they should go up, I think, to their last level, which is here. Quite impressive looking, got lack of, these are the same, well, these are level seven. When they get to seven, you can't take them any higher. So I can fuse them together. And even though I'll have two of those, I cannot. That's right click. I, you can hear me right clicking. No, it's not going to go. So level seven is as high as a crystal will go. Then it stops. Okay, I have different. I have some on weapons now and armor. I'll show you a few here. For instance, if you look at these, this is an endurance plus eight crystal with a willpower plus four now i do have a willpower plus four crystal somewhere there so what i can do is well i surely should show you this on the other guide but i'll do it if i take that out go back to my crystals i've now got two willpower plus fours right click and join that makes it now into a plus where is it? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There we go. Level five, willpower plus six. Go back to that ring. And let's just add that on. I'll explain how to do all this in the other guide. I just wanted to show you. There you go. Now it's even better. Okay, so that's your guide basically on that. One more thing you need to know, and it's to do with your skills. You need to know the attribute you must put up 
to do to be able to fuse crystals because crystals you can only fuse, join them together if you have a high enough level of fusion this is the this is the skill here you need to protect your fusion up the higher your fusion is the higher the level of crystal you can put up for instance if you only have a level 2 fusion you cannot mix two level 3s together because your fusion isn't high enough so max that out you don't have to max it out too early but max it out when you can when you've got some spare points that you don't mind spending max that out so that you can mix your crystals and get them to a higher level so you can get them on your weapons in the armor and make use of them that's basically it for crystals i will just quickly recap just so you know you've got attribute crystals which are good for endurance, strength, willpower and accuracy. You've got your damage crystals which will add attack onto your weapon. If you look at my weapon here it has fire but it's also glowing a bit here. That's because it has lightning on it too. These are your resistance crystals. These give you protection against elements like again like fire, frost, um, lightning, things like that. And finally your skill crystals which put, help put your skills up that you have normally when you level up so and you fuse them together by right clicking and then clicking join like this and then yes and it mixes it together you cannot mix it past level seven two crystals will not mix past level seven that's as far as they go now for the guide on how these work with weapons and armor you know i'll just click I, I will put a link as soon as i have done that guide i'll put a link in this video to take you there otherwise i'm sure you'll find it by searching and i'll also do a spell guide until then uh, i hope this video helps take care of yourselves and goodbye for now my friends